switch to this guy, jump out. Push it right a bit while I make a slope. I'm finally getting off this island. <laughs> I think I've got everything I need. Shove off any time. I knew he was going to be trouble. Right Sorry. here in Island City. Trouble with a capital T, which rhymes with P, which stands for... He he hermit. Uh, hmm. Okay, that didn't quite work. But he's still trouble. Trouble with a capital H, which stands for hermit. Ha. There. <laughs> Much better. We should probably shove off. The tide is going out, and I've got all my beloved possessions. You do? Anyway, so, um... After sliding, the hermit will jump in the boat, leave him there as third, who should be carrying the femur, backtrack to where the hermit was originally, and go to his dog. Okay. Now, what I want to do, is really quickly before I forget, let me grab the knight. I actually don't know if I can get across here. Yeah, I probably should have like had both of them come up there. Alright, I'll just walk around. I want him, I want to use him to grab the postcard real quick. Back up. This guy. Alright. Um let's see how these fibers might back. Stand there. There's a dog. So I'm just gonna stand here, not even do anything yet. And then with first box of crackers. I think I don't need her anymore, right? Let's grab the box of crackers. You're really taking your sweet time, aren't you? Indeed. Uh, the backtrack all the way towards the pirate pirate flag, where the parrot is. Um, even for the left from as you backtrack past the first parrot flag, you will come across the red parrot. So right here. <laughs> Switch to first again, so back to her. Oh, are you serious, bro? Crap, man. That was lame. 
in a flash. Don't be without us. Spanky gets his own seat, so someone will need to swim. Yo. This guy. Alright. Let's, let's go inside. Let's get out of here. I'm no lawyer, but maritime law clearly allows for the abandonment of annoying hermits. And really, the stranding of a lone hermit pales in comparison to what we've seen from these three so far. <laughs> I do wonder if any lessons have been learned this evening. Maybe by you and me, but I fear not by them. Well, we shall see soon enough. beginning so what we can do now um, is basically we're returning back to the beginning and before doing so examine the postcard just fill the character carrying the postcard put it back there you go and that should have unlocked another achievement called remorse and that's pretty good all right so we got that unlocked not bad. Okay. So well, to this you guy. took long enough. I was going to send out the search party, but they're still looking for the last group. You didn't happen to run into an annoying clown, did you? That doesn't matter. We just mm -hmm. got a new shipment of trinkets that should satisfy your every desire. But I can't give them to you without suitable replacements. So, take this giant novelty size key, again, and open the employee's back entrance. I'm sure you'll find some treasures worthy of the cave's gift shop. Okay. So, this part is basically the same as the beginning, again. Where you grab the key and you grab the same items again. Same exact locations and stuff. So we're essentially replaying the first part. Although <laughs> now you can see all this all the danger is gone, which is kinda of funny. So you don't have to, like, take care of the monster or anything like that. Do do do. So we literally just gotta go through. Okay, so one's up here. Gold nugget. Then he can drop the femur. She can drop the box of crackers. Grab the hillbilly. 
think I need to go. Well, actually, yeah. Monster Trophy. And the last one. Is it the ladder? <laughs> it's the dog. and they'll just spawn there, no mistake. No? Damn it. Oh, they are here, okay. Alright, so, now that they're here, at this point the game is about to end. Spe speak with the gift shop clerk and hand over the trinket and return you will receive the special character's item. In order to achieve the good ending, so at this point you could basically have a good ending or a bad ending, and there's actually an achievement for achieving all the good endings with each character and then all the bad endings with each character, which is it's a lot. <laughs> That's why you need to basically replay the game so many times. Um, so in order to achieve the good ending, you must speak with the shopkeeper again a few times to hand over the hard-earned special item, then go through the door on the right and climb up a ladder. If you want to achieve the bad ending, you must keep the special item with you and go through the door on the right and then climb up the ladder. So, basically what that's saying is, if you talk to him once with the item that you got from the from the, uh, the the fake item, essentially, so like the dog that I'm carrying right now, he will give me my statue, and if I keep it, that's the bad ending. If I give it back to him and put it back on the display case and then walk out, that's the good ending. So, I'm going to just go through all the good endings. So, one by one. I'm gonna go ahead and... Oh, that is very nice. Taking the thing someone else desires most was a stroke of genius. You earned it. So there you go. And now I'm gonna talk back to him a couple times to get it, to give it back to him. You wanna return the thing you desire most? I'm just looking out for you when I say this. You should think twice about returning what you desire most. Trust me. I'm only taking this back because you left the price tag on. Alright, there we go. So now that's the good ending for the time traveler. So I just gotta take her out of the cave. She had second thoughts about it. <laughs> Heartfelt congratulations. Nice. Cool. Alright. Now I'm going to do the same with the knight. Oh, you've outdone yourself on this one. After all, possession is nine tenths of the law. That other one tenth. Pfft. Here you go. All right, I'm gonna give it back to him. Returning what you desire most is strongly discouraged. Are you sure that's what you want? I'm just looking out for you when I say this. You should think twice about returning what you desire most. Trust me. Very well. Just because it's you, I'll take it back. All right, so that's the good ending with the knight.
Confessions of a Lie, and The Rewards of Honesty. Hmm. Nice. That's awesome. And now, finally, the hillbilly. Oh, that is very nice. Hey, it's not stealing if they didn't see you take it. Am I right? You earned it. All right, give it back to him. After all the hard work, you want to return this? You really should think about keeping that. It came at great cost. Very well. Just because it's you, I'll take it back. All right. There's a good ending with the hillbilly. Let's see what that looks like. So we got. You got love will find you. Oh, nice! Look at that. Happy house full of little Bill Hillies. <laughs> That's awesome. Now we just climb all the way up. That. Well, this brings our exciting journey to an end this evening. I hope you had as much fun as I did. The important thing to remember is, there are no refunds in the cave. No price can be put on the lessons learnt down here. We carry them throughout our lives, and hopefully find ourselves on a new and better path. I say we, of course, but I mean you. After all, I'm just a talking cave. <laughs> that was awesome. And that is the first playthrough of the cave. Alright, so that was my first playthrough of the cave. Like I said, I'm going to play through it again two more times just to get the other characters. Um, and yeah, and then, you know, and then I'll see where I'm at with the achievements and stuff. For right now, uh, we completed shoplifting achievement, the remorse achievement, um, what else? The well done achievement, the royal buffet achievement, the weight of the beast achievement, fire in the hold achievement, uh, smells like team spirit achievement, sue the savage beast achievement, and cream corn achievement, uh, midsummer's night's thieve achievement, funnier than a burning carnival achievement, and the prevenge achievement. So those are basically some of the miscellaneous ones and the um, story related ones related to the knight, the hillbilly, and the time traveler. So next time, on the next playthrough, we will be playing through... So I think I'm going to go with the twins, the scientist, and probably the adventurer or the monk, one or the other. But we'll see. But that'll be in the next playthrough. And, um, yeah, and we'll see how that goes. Get to see three whole different characters, their levels. Obviously, there's some levels that get repeated, like the zoo level and all that stuff. The, the minor level, but, you know, those are pretty quick and easy, so. Yeah, so we'll, uh, we'll do that next.